Hello everyone. Welcome to the module on the nervous system. In this module, we will talk about one of the most important and high yield topics of the nervous system physiology that is sleep physiology. Okay? So we will talk about sleep physiology in this module. Now starting with the basics of sleep physiology, sleep cycle is regulated by circadian rhythm. Okay? This is a very important word. So sleep cycle is regulated by circadian rhythm which is derived by suprachiasmatic nucleus abbreviated as scn okay so the sleep cycle is regulated by circadian rhythm regulation of this is by suprachiasmatic nucleus which is present in the hypothalamus okay now the circadian rhythm controls the release of a hormone or multiple hormones such as ACTH prolactin melatonin and norepinephrine okay so there are different release of different hormones during the nocturnal phase when a person is sleeping and that is the reason there is a formation of circadian rhythm okay now the sub suprachiasmatic nucleus releases there is a norepinephrine release from suprachiasmatic nucleus okay now this leads to action on the pineal gland which leads to release of a hormone called as melatonin okay so basically suprachiasmatic nucleus indirectly controls the release of melatonin am i clear now the suprachiasmatic nucleus is usually regulated by the light factor or the environment okay now if there is excessive stimulus on suprachiasmatic nucleus that means there is more light then the release of melatonin decreases whereas if there is less light there is excessive melatonin release okay now talking about the sleep there are two basic stages of the sleep physiology that is REM and non REM that is rapid eye movement phase and non rapid eye mo movement phase am i clear Let me just give you a gist about different drugs that act on different phases, and then we'll talk more about these phases: alcohol, benzodiazepine, and barbiturates. These three drugs are associated with decrease in the rapid eye movement sleep and N three sleep. Okay, so there is a decrease in the REM as well as N three sleep by alcohol, benzodiazepine, and barbiturate. whereas the norepinephrine just decreases rapid eye movement sleep am i clear now benzodiazepine are useful for night terrors and sleep walking why because it decreases these two things okay so the benzodiazepine decreases rem sleep and n3 sleep which leads to useful treatment of night terrors and sleep walking Now, talking about the two different phases the rapid eye movement phase and the non rapid eye movement phase about before that i want to talk about when you are awake and the eyes are open okay so there is a different types of sleep stages and when you are awake and your eyes are open you are alert your active mental concentration is high okay and the eeg waves So just let me just tell you that electroencephalogram is a instrument used to measure different sleep pattern waves okay now the eeg waveform that is seen when a person is awake and his eyes are open is beta waves okay these are high frequency and low amplitude waves just remember that beta waves are seen in awake people with open eye whereas people who are trying to sleep that means their eyes are closed but mentally they are awake uh, produce alpha waves is this clear so beta waves and alpha waves now talking about non rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep okay now in non rapid eye movement sleep there are three stages n1 n2 and n3 okay so there are three different stages the n1 stage consists of 5% of the total sleep and this is a phase of light sleep which produces theta waves on the eeg 
Am I clear? So this is 5% light sleep with theta waves. Whereas N2, which is the biggest phase, that is 45% of the sleep is N2, which is a deep sleep with bruxism. Okay, so bruxism means tooth grinding. So there is bruxism that happens during deep sleep or stage N2. And on the EEG, we see sleep spindles and K complexes. Okay, so we see sleep spindles and K complexes in N2 stage. Am I clear? Now talking about the N3 stage. Now N3 stage is clinically more relevant because the different kind of problems like sleep walking, night terrors and bed wetting occurs in N3 stage. Okay. Now this is the deepest non-rapid eye moment sleep. It is even deeper than N2 but it lasts for 25% of your total sleep. Am I clear? Now the stage N3 leads to production of de delta waves which are opposites of beta waves. So delta waves are low frequency high amplitude whereas beta waves were high frequency low amplitude. Am I clear? So this is all about rap non-rapid eye movement sleep. Whereas in rapid eye movement sleep, there is loss of motor tone. That means a person is not motorly active and there is increase in the brain oxygen use. A lot of oxygen is consumed by the brain to function. Now, there are variable pulse and blood pressure, but an important factor in rapid eye movement sleep is there is increase in the acetylcholine levels. Okay. Now, in rapid eye movement sleep, this is a phase in which a person is dreaming, having nightmares, having penile or clitoral tumnescence. In this part of the sleep, there is excessive deep sleep, which occurs for a period of 45 minutes or 25% of the total sleep that you have. Okay. Now, this may occur with severe memory processing function. Now, during rapid eye movement sleep, there is excessive extraocular movement due to activity of PPRF. Now, what is PPRF? PPRF is a center that is called paramedian pontine reticular formation in the brain, which is also called as conjugate, conjugate gaze center. Okay, so it is paramedian pontine reticular formation, also called as conjugate gate center, which is used for movement of the eye. And hence, in rapid eye movement sleep, there is excessive in extraocular movements of eye. Is this clear? Now, this occurs every 90 minutes and the duration increases through the night. Okay, now remember that the non rapid eye movement sleep and rapid eye movement sleep occurs in simultaneous progression. Okay, there are simultaneous alternate progression that means these occur continuously non rapid eye movement, then there is rapid eye movement, then there is again non rapid eye movement, there is again rapid eye movement, but the size keeps on increasing. Am I clear? And it majorly occurs for 90 minutes. Am I clear? Now talking about which waveform is seen in rapid eye movement. It is just like the awake waves that is beta waves. Now it cha what, what are the major factors of beta wave? Correct. It is high frequency, low amplitude and same waves are seen in rapid eye movement sleep. Okay. Now let us talk about a few changes that happens in a person when a person grows older. That means whenever a person is elder, they have a decreased rapid eye movement sleep type and a decrease N3. So these two phases decreases. Is this clear? Now a person is in depression, the more rapid eye movement sleep increases. Okay, so this is a diagnostic test for depression one of the diagnostic tests and the different kind of things that happen in depression also include repeated nightmares, awakenings, early morning awakening that is terminal insomnia and there is a decrease in the N3, increase in the REM and decrease in the REM latency. 
please remember this decrease in n3 increase in rem and decrease in rem latency with different symptoms like nightmare repeated night time awakening early morning awakening that is terminal insomnia now what is the change in narcolepsy in narcolepsy there is a decrease in the rem latency period okay so this is all about the different kinds of sleep patterns and sleep waves form in the electroencephalogram and the different stages of sleep is this clear